Well guys, I'm here at Juno Beach. Uh, first day of our trip here in April over Easter weekend. Uh, I'm going solo today. No one else from the JK fishing crew. Joe's still at school. Johnny's a bit under the weather, so I hit the beach this morning. Uh, looking to catch some pompano. They seem to be running. Guys say they're catching some. So I had I came out. I didn't have any fish bites, so I'm actually just using cooked shrimp that I found in the freezer. And I've hooked up on four already. So uh, it seems like a good day. I got two more to my limit. Hopefully we get there. Uh, stay tuned. Well, I got my partner in crime here. We're gonna get six more pompano this morning. That's the goal. I've already hit my limit. Now it's Johnny's turn. He's feeling a bit better. Right, Johnny? Yeah. Ready for the weekend of fishing and uh, eating, of course. Anyway, stay tuned for more. Johnny's hooked up already. Been sitting here for about five minutes. That'll be number seven for us. If, if he brings it in, we'll see. We had fish bites right now. Well, watch he doesn't eat that piece of shrimp down there. There we go, that's a nice fish, eh? Good eats. All right, throw in the bucket. Well, uh, we've hooked up. We've got another pompano on. Here we go. That's number eight. He's over there getting his rod out again. Okay, in bath before the sharks get him. Big enough? Oh yeah. Gotta be about 14 inches. Alright, let's get her back out. One problem fishing today is so there's quite a bit of seaweed here. If you can uh, get longer rods in this type of weather, then your, your line is not sitting in the water. We are actually running with, um, with a 10 foot and a 9 foot rod, which is pretty small. And so we're, we tend to get a bit of seaweed on the line in close and then it leaves the line down. So uh, if you're going to be focusing on pompano fishing, I think the suggestion is probably 12 foot or longer rods that we use to serve. But these are pretty versatile. We use them for a lot of other things like, like sharks or, or pier fishing and casting. So, uh, unfortunately, we don't have dedicated pompano rods. Feel thick? It might be wrapped in seaweed. Who knows? on again still got it there we go little guy but it's a fish and it's definitely over 11 inches Oh. 
good. Well, guys, I'm going to show you what we're using for our Pompano rig. Pretty common setup that we've got here. Uh, we've got our circle hooks. This is not quite a circle hook, but similar. Um, we've got these little floats and beads on our line to float up so that it doesn't sit on the bottom and hang down. Um, also add some color. All I'm using today for bait here is cooked shrimp. Guy actually gave me some fish bites. They actually weren't hitting at all and were coming off more than the cooked shrimp was. So I just break them up into small pieces, put them on the hook and they're lasting pretty long and the fish are loving them today. So uh, when in doubt, go in your freezer, steal your mom's cooked shrimp and throw it on a hook. That's all you need. Johnny's on again, flexing his pipes on video here. me? I think I might be on. Or I got seaweed on. Well guys, that's all for the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm feeling better now at the time of filming this outro and props to our father for going out by himself on the first morning that we got down here to film that video. Um, yeah, the Pompano fishing was great. And if you guys are looking forward to more content, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we have lots more videos coming from this trip. And with the upcoming summer salmon season, we hope to get some more content out then. Anyways, guys, that's all for the video. We'll see you next time on JK Fishing.